Live from the AFC Championship Capital of the World, it's the Mastication Station. With your host, who's starstruck by weather people, Tony J. Lemon. And he'll kick you when you're up or down, the studio ad, Lee Daly. Our special guest tonight from all 92 counties in Indiana, sock collector and beard maven, Curtis Smith. Our sponsor tonight is the gargantuanest snack of them all, Manchovies. For man-sized snack, make it a man-sized meal, Manchovies. And our house band tonight, from the corner of Walnut and Vine, Limp Wristed Wrestler. And now, give him an inch and he'll take a centimeter. Tony J. Lemon. One, two, three. Nice. Yes. One, two, three. It's like stomp. Well, I'm glad you finally got the broom out here to get all those Ooh. gum wrappers and candy wrappers. Wow. Oh. Now you're ready for there martial you arts. You're okay. Oh, well, like welcome everybody. I am well rested. Mm -hmm. I have taken a little, Leave little of siesta. Leave of absence. Yeah. Siesta. So we're here. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> so welcome to Mastication Station, everybody. We have a studio audience here. They're crazy people. <laughs> crazy <laughs> bunch of kids. You get it. Ah! Yeah. Right. <laughs> Ruin it to the left. Interesting. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, you know. Yeah. So. Welcome in. The water's fine, don't worry. It's cold. Uh, it's here's cold. Lee Daly, the studio head. Come to Zoom, the studio. This is sweet week <laughs> here at the studio. So we are located in downtown uh, Cincinnati. Ooh, Cincinnati. Yeah, we came down here last week uh, on the hopes that the Bengals would win their uh, AFC champion. And they did, yeah. and this town has been nuts. Yeah. I was totally convinced that the big uh, restaurant that's right on the river, yeah. slide right yep. into the river. <laughs> right on. And we've got an audience of about 250 rambunctious Utes. <laughs> no! Keepers, no! Uh, all dressed like little tigers. Average age is 13. 13 going down. <laughs> but they've been a great audience. They've been uh, semi-respectful, uh, partially quiet, and... Uh, their mobility is off the chart. Yes. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so we got uh, we got this big uh, box. Oh. At, at at the studio here this okay. afternoon from our sponsor. Oh. Okay. Yeah, our sponsor is oh. uh, Manchovies. Ooh. <laughs> Manchovies. Manchovies. So of course, we were thinking like Manwich. You know, it came right, out in the eighties and, and make stuff. sandwiches. Yeah. So we opened the box and there was this huge uh, oval tin. Ah. It's about this high and about this wide, and it's got this big hook on it. Thing weighs probably 15 pounds. Wow, man! And uh, it took me and several of the crew members all we could do to, to pull, pull the tab and, yeah. and pull the lid open. And there's uh -huh. some big fish in there. Oh, yeah, big man-sized gargantuan chovies. Yeah, <laughs> of the largest nature. Um, it is that time of year again. Uh, iguanas are falling out of trees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're really happy about that. Where? Uh, in Florida, I Florida. think. Florida, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. In the southern area where iguanas roam free in trees. I, I think to see on the billboards, iguanas, back on the menu. Yes, yes, so if you are under a tree, watch yourself. Oh yeah, they're not small. No, how big are they? Uh, are like, they manchovy They would size? probably fit into the tin <laughs> of a manchovy can. <laughs> That's that could yeah, be that's where they're good eating right there. I don't care what good eating right yeah. there. Well, our uh, guest tonight, one guest, because of the impending storm here in Cincy, mm -hmm. uh, is Curtis Smith. And Curtis Smith is here all the way from Fort Wayne talking about Crosswinds Counseling. That's a service that uh, provides counseling for corporations and people. other people of that nature Cuckoo for who Cocoa might Puffs. need that. So he's going to come here and talk about that and play a little game. We'll see how that goes. And anybody, anything else? Didn't we have him on a couple of years ago? He, he came on earlier, uh, about two years ago. Right. And he was. Uh, he used to be a weatherman, weather mm -hmm. person, weather weathering. Okay, 
So we'll be right back after this, after these commercials from Manchovies sponsors. And we're back. Buffet is going to be open soon, so be prepared for that. Pay twice. We'll have some manchovies on there, actually. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right next to the ice sculpture. Yes. So be centipede. careful. Yeah. I'm warning you. Sweep, sweep, folks. All right. Sweep, we'll sweep. be right back after this. <laughs> I didn't think they needed to see that. 60% <laughs> of the time, it works every time. Living rooms, bedrooms, dinettes, oh yeah, you can find them at the market, we talking about flea market, Montgomery, it's just like, it's just like a mini mall, hey hey, don't stop, let's make it a dance, come on now, to the left, to the right, let's do this dance, hey, to the left, to the right, let's make this a dance, flea market, Montgomery, it keeps you jumping, just like, it's just like a mini mall. Check it out now, everybody, like this now. Hey, hey, flea market, Montgomery. It's just like, it's just like a mini mall. Hey, oh, hey, oh, Ooh. good. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Mastication Station. We are here live from somewhere. I was taking a little nappy poo there, so I don't remember where we're at. But Lee does. Here we are, where we're at, and who our sponsor is. Well, thanks, Tony. Yeah, you were taking a nap. Yeah. Um, we are located, now it's a little known fact to the general public, but to those of us on the crew, uh, Tony is a huge Cincinnati Bengals football <laughs> team fan. Uh, last time they were even in the playoffs, I think he was in third or fourth grade. In diapers. And he remembers it then, but now if you've been following football, they have made a, a remarkable surge towards the Super Bowl. So we are in Cincinnati. Oh, hey. Uh, we were going to get tickets to Los Angeles had the Patriots made it in to the Super Bowl, but they, they didn't. They yielded their support to the Bengals. So we're in Cincinnati. We're downtown Cincinnati mm -hmm. at one of the youth theaters. Mm -hmm. That's why we have an audience uh, full of kids. An audience. Pretty <laughs> raucous group of kids who get, keep jumping from seat to seat. I don't know what the, what the deal know. is there. No! Keep it! No! 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 So thanks, kids, for, for being here. Just try to keep it down and try to keep the throwing stuff down. That'd be appreciate that. And uh, uh, our sponsor, oh, yes, Tony, yes. Yeah, uh -huh. is a, a unique uh, company. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's called Manchovies, and they uh, they package uh, anchovies of the gargantuan size. Oh, very large. Anchovies? Very large. Okay. So I saw one of their tins, and it's about this big <laughs> by this, and the whole crew we couldn't pull it back. So if you're really into anchovies, and you really want the yeah. top notch, you want to go and get yourself a can of manchovies. Uh, with us tonight, very special guest, Curtis Smith is here from Crosswinds. Is that, this, is that the full name, Crosswinds? Crosswinds Counseling. Counseling. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Great to be here. He's here in Cincinnati. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brought him down. So what is Crosswinds Counseling? It is a Christian nonprofit counseling service. Uh, we offer counseling to all sorts of people, uh, people looking for marital counseling, oh. if you have a kid who needs counseling, if you're going through a tough time. Uh, we also have corporate counseling. Mm. Uh, we work mm. with over 50 businesses now uh, mm. to provide essentially a corporate wellness program, but it's corporate counseling, um, and it's gone really well. And um, it's, it's been around for about 10 years. Okay. And oh. I've been there for about a year now. It's, uh -huh. been, it's been a wonderful transition and for me. what do you do there? I'm the chief marketing and communications officer. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, try to get the word out, try to help people know who we are, mm -hmm. because uh, historically... Um, not a whole lot of people have known about yeah. us, and we're trying to we're, we're entering a growth mode, and we think there's uh, good things ahead uh, because there are so many people that need counseling, mm -hmm. and uh, we need so many counselors right now because the world, as you know, is sure. crazy the last couple of years with yeah. the pandemic, and it's just it's changed so many things across our landscape. So. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, a situation where we need to get the word out, let people know that we exist, and we're out here to help. So mm. corporate counseling. Yeah. What exactly is corporate counseling? It's really just counseling through your corporate employer? office, through okay. your employer. Yeah. Okay. So if your employer signs up, you get um, sessions okay. through a counselor that's assigned to your employer. Mm -hmm. and it's, 
basically just like private counseling, mm -hmm. you can use it for any anything that you need to use it for, but it goes through your employer. Okay. So still totally private. Yeah. You know, no HIPAA violations. Right, right. They they know. So you mentioned that you've been there a year. So what has, what, why has it gotten so, like you would say, it's gotten worse over the years? What's been the catalyst of that? Yeah, I think a lot of things. Um, I think just the state of the world, mm -hmm. um, you know, the last couple of years, obviously with COVID, uh, but I think we've all seen increased racial tension. We've mm -hmm. seen upheaval politically. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen just a state of unrest. Yeah. Um, we've seen this, the strangest job market in the history of our lives. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't fully understand mm -hmm. why no one seems to work anymore or how they afford yeah. not to work. Um, why there are all these open jobs. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, just all of those factors, I think combined the, the pandemic, I say COVID and everyone I think knows what I mean, but you know, you say the pandemic and it means people were going through stretches of working at home and kids mm -hmm. doing school at home and trying to re-figure out how to do life. And that causes dynamics to change, relationships to change. And I think it's led to uh, a state where we probably have more people who uh, need counseling. Mm -hmm. uh, and on the good side, we probably have more people who aren't traumatized by a stigma mm -hmm. or aren't stuck by a stigma of mm -hmm. getting counseling. You know, counseling is not scary it doesn't mean there's something wrong with you it just yeah. means you need to talk through some things sure. you need to work through some stuff in your life and we have people that can help you do that so of the things or the issues that maybe your company deals with is it a company i don't even know yeah. how to call it. what's like of those what's like the major thing that's really like people are mostly struggling with yeah, I don't know if there's one. It's it's across the board. And it's all the stuff you would expect: stress, mm -hmm. anxiety, financial pressure, relational breakdown, mm -hmm. all those things. Jobs, yeah. and then and then you get into the whole COVID thing. My job has changed. My kids' schooling has changed. I'm, you know, and then just all the stuff of life. But I, hmm. I don't know if we could put it into one category. It's mm -hmm. it's pretty well spread out across a number of categories. Is it uh, is isolation? Like feel, people feeling isolated? For sure. That the, There is a segment of the population that absolutely feels more mm -hmm. isolated than ever. Ironically, in a time, in an era when we have these things, which sure. supposed, supposedly keep us more connected than ever, mm -hmm. I do think a lot of people feel more isolated than yeah, ever. Yeah, because we have to com we're communicating through that, and we're not really being face-to-face. -face. Right. And then we have masks on when we're together, <laughs> right. and so you don't really can't really read facial expressions and all that stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. What What's a day-to-day -day routine that you have? Yeah, I don't know if there is a, a set day-to-day -day routine. I do a lot of different things. I help lead our development department as well as our marketing and communications mm -hmm. department. So um, we're in uh, all sorts of different places. We have uh, clients in all 92 counties in Indiana. Oh, wow. I know we're, I know we're currently in Cincinnati, but yeah, well, talking about Indiana. Yeah. Nobody in Ohio. Um, <laughs> yeah, nobody in Ohio. <laughs> well, it's in Cincinnati, everybody's doing yeah. great these For days. For now. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the game's not over yet. Right. <laughs> Uh, but in Indiana, we have clients in all 92 counties. So, um, yeah, there's no set pattern. I mm -hmm. spend more time in Indianapolis now than I used really? to. Yeah. Really? We have a couple of, of oh. offices there, and um, we're going to grow. And we think we think there's big things on our horizon because the need is so great. But we, you know, mm -hmm. uh, not to be too egotistical about it, we feel like we do it well. We mm -hmm. have a good model. Um, we are a Christian organization, so we bring the love of Jesus mm -hmm. into the situation, and we feel like that's critical mm -hmm. to what we do and critical to people actually getting better. Um, and we think that the breakdown of the family over yeah. the last, whatever, mm -hmm. pick a number of years, 20, years. 30, 50, 100 years, <laughs> yeah. right, yeah. Has, has really led to a lot of the problems in society that we mm -hmm. have to tackle. So we're all about rebuilding, reclaiming, restoring the family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. You got a question. I sure do. So as uh, the CMO of your company, yeah. did you get that, Tony? No, no. What's that mean? Chief Marketing Officer. Oh, see, he did get that. Yeah. See, I should probably I listen, listen to everything he yeah. says, nothing you say. No, no, no. It's a good, um, good ratio. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, if you had the opportunity yeah. to counsel someone, a famous person, dead, Famous person. Dead. Dead? Dead, famous person. Okay. <laughs> and you had the opportunity to counsel that person. Yeah. Who would you choose and what do you think they'd need the most help with? And go. 
And you can't do Howard Hessman because he just died recently. Did he really? Yeah. I don't think I knew that. The day the Bengals won to go to the Super Bowl was when Howard, Howard Hessman of WKRP, WKRP in, Cincinnati. in Cincinnati. I can't believe he died the day they won to go yeah, to the Super Bowl. It was a trade off. He cursed the team 30 years ago. <laughs> so his death opened the door. So, yeah, you can't pick. You could pick him, I guess. So he still has to answer my question. Yeah, I know. It's Sorry. an interesting question. Thank um, you. I don't remember it. <laughs> so if I have to pick someone of famous. Someone famous who's, who's deceased, dead that to you give would counseling like to counsel now, with. In this scenario, are they able to come back to life for the counseling session? Of course. Okay. They so might I'm be not, a little pale, but I'm not speaking to their corpse. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's good. Okay. If you're speaking to them, they get one day to come back to sit in your office to, for you to counsel them about one issue. Well, I think the first thing I need to say here, and I, this is a serious disclaimer, I'm not a counselor. Right. Wow. Uh, they don't know that. <laughs> I shouldn't be giving anyone counseling. I should be helping to support people so who yes. do you could, give counseling. You could direct someone. Yeah, so, so I would m feel much more comfortable if this You open the door and you say, go into someone else's office and talk to Larry. You could market to a dead guy. <laughs> yeah, right. Like we could, do, we could do stuff in some chairs. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Is the obvious answer Hitler? Yeah. <laughs> Not really. I mean, he was okay until he was like 12. Well, but I feel like if you could have maybe got to Hitler sure. beforehand, you could have saved the world one of a the lot great of trouble. atrocities of all time. Yeah. Volkswagen. <laughs> I think Freud. 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 Bring yeah. Freud and throw him on a couch. And, and what would you want to get to the bottom of with him? <laughs> yeah. The whole mother, the whole mother thing. thing. Yeah. The whole mother. You could get Freud and Hitler together, I think. That might be well, a good old German, party so. right there. What? We're both German. Well, it's true. See, that's what I'm saying. They live down the street from each other. Yeah, they yeah. Only a hundred years apart. A shared language. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. This uh, is my favorite show. You guys, <laughs> this is such an interesting <laughs> 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 goes sideways. Are you still Twittering? <laughs> um, Do you I, Twitter much? I don't Twitter much. Yeah, because um, last time you did it. You know, yeah, <laughs> back in my days in television, um, yeah, I did tweet a fair amount, and it, it went bananas. Yeah. Um, but no, I don't tweet a whole lot these days. I, m most of my social media activity, which is not all that much, yeah. is on uh, Facebook and LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Well, you're kind of busy. Well, mm -hmm. that's it, but I'm also aging. Do you find, uh, you know, that no. you're aging? Well, I'm I, not say that. I think we're all aging, um, <laughs> and day. at the same rate, <laughs> right. Yeah. But, I don't know. The older I get, the l I find my interest in social media is waning a little. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. I, I, you know, I want to just go on the porch and just tell kids to get off my lawn. That's my, yeah. you know. I don't feel like I'm quite to that phase. This is a, yeah. this is a, um, a, a big year for me, though. This summer I turned 50. Oh, cool. cool. 50? Yeah. Um, so, right. Yeah. So it's a, it's a benchmark year. Um, so yeah, I'm getting. I'm when, not quite. You to already the, did, or you're no, going to? No, coming summer. up here in a few months. Okay. okay. Um, Stay so, with him, Tony. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you you really don't listen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not bad for a talk show. <laughs> um, so yeah, I feel like this year I'm I'm inching closer to uh, the get off my lawn phase yeah. of life. You're. you're uh, I think you're in tip top physical shape, if I might say. You're spry. I'm in better shape than I have been in a long time. Yeah. I mean, I. Not that I was probably in a better shape as a teenager, but uh, yeah, in my adult life, this is the best shape I've ever yeah. been in. Now, why is that? Because I was in really bad shape oh. um, for a while. I've lost 48 pounds. Really? Wow. Yeah. And I, I had a couple of um, just chance meetings with some older, older gentlemen. Uh, I ran into four or five guys in mm -hmm. their 70s. That must have hurt. Right? <laughs> Two or, three, two or three of them <laughs> were in, in poor health really? and in bad shape. And two or three of them were in great shape mm -hmm. and very active and hmm. looked and, and seemed much younger than their age. And I just said to all of them, uh, you know, what do you do mm -hmm. to, to exercise and how, how do you try to get in shape? And the ones that were out of shape said, it's too late. Mm -hmm. You have got to get in, your shape in, in, in shape in your 40s and 50s. Because by the time you're 75, it's too late, and I'm paying the price for it. I'm telling you, get in shape mm -hmm. now. And the guys who were in shape were saying the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. I got in shape in my 40s and 50s, and I'm so glad I did. I'm able to move, and I enjoy my life, and mm -hmm. I can play with my grandkids and mm -hmm. all this stuff. And I remember I went home one day and said mm -hmm. to my wife, 
I have to get in shape mm -hmm. because this is slowly sliding away mm -hmm. from me. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually saw a picture of myself. I was emceeing an event mm -hmm. on stage. The organization that I emceed the event for sent me a picture to thank me for doing the event. <laughs> what they really did was showed me how fat I was. <laughs> 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 and I looked at that picture and thought, okay, I've mm -hmm. had enough because I barely recognize mm -hmm. that guy. That guy is fat and I can't, I can't yeah. have it. Now, does that, has that helped you, you know, like going back to our beginning, has that helped your like mental I think so. life too? Yeah, I think so. I, you know, it's certainly just an overall... I, so I kind of did it for vanity. That's mm -hmm. Vanity s s certainly gave me the push I needed. But yeah, I feel better than I mm -hmm. ever have. I think that's mainly physical, but I'm sure there's a mental and even spiritual benefit sure. to mm -hmm. being healthy. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so back to um, wherever we were before Hitler. Yeah. Um, how can people get involved in Crosswinds if they want to help? Can they volunteer or donate? Or yeah, we do like some that? events through the year, um, and we occasionally need volunteers and certainly donations. We are a nonprofit, 501c3, mm -hmm. and you can support us financially, and that, that would be great because we do try to provide counseling to people who at times can't afford it. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, we, uh, the way that most people connect with us these days are either looking for a counselor, um, or you're a counselor looking for a job. Mm -hmm. uh, we need those people more than we ever have mm -hmm. because of the aforementioned state of the uh, yeah. working world. But all of the, any way to connect with us um, online is the best way these mm -hmm. days. Crosswindscounseling.org org. Okay. is our website, and all of our stuff is there. If you're looking for a job, mm -hmm. if you're looking ways for ways to donate, if you're looking for a counselor, mm -hmm. You can find everything very clearly marked there. We've yeah. got tabs right at the top of the page, but crosswindscounseling.org is the spot to go. Wow. Are you going to um, grow a beard for <laughs> your uh, for Crosswinds? I don't think so. As a fundraiser or a <laughs> challenge? Or no. Snow blowers go to the first. Yeah. No one's brought that up yet. You're the first one to suggest that. Nice. It's yes! You've got it! Yeah, I, I knew you'd be happy about that. Um, <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I, I I don't. I wouldn't totally rule it out. But I, I think don't it would go see well. See that happen. I think Do you think well. it would go well? I think so. It went well on television. Yeah. I did it twice uh, back in my TV days, yeah. and uh, again, people lost their minds about mm -hmm. it. How long did the beard? I mean, okay. First of all, how long in time was the beard, and yeah. how long was it in length? Yeah. So the time changed a little both times. So both days we started on the first day of uh, winter, uh -huh. which is right around December 21st. Um, yeah. And then we, I would grow it and not trim or anything until um, we hit 70 degrees. Mm -hmm. So the first time I did that, that actually went into April. Wow. I did not shave until like <laughs> April 7th or 8th wow. or something. <laughs> and then the second Text time <laughs> was in March. It uh -huh. wasn't as bad. And it, it's, it's, interesting my beard and it's so only three or four months it didn't get incredibly long mm -hmm. but it got crazy thick mm -hmm. i mean like you could lose small children in it. <laughs> it, it was <laughs> a little nasty and i wasn't able to trim and so i like it had completely grown over my mouth oh. it was awful by the end i was really only eating um, milkshakes uh, um, if yeah. i couldn't get it in through a straw i wasn't attempting it that's I, a weight loss program it, right it should have been. Um, I, went, I remember going to restaurants and saying to the waitress or the waiter, uh, I need some extra napkins. They'd bring two or three. Yeah, um, that's not enough. I'd say like, no, no, I, I mean like I need every napkin yeah, you, you can have. get your hands on. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. messy. My wife hated it. Yeah. But it was fun. It, yeah. was, it was fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I, think I, can, I can see a good fundraiser for Crosswinds. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'll have to talk to our CEO about you that. You won't, will you? No, probably. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we anonymously yeah. email several hundred times, yeah, under different names, push that along. Uh, are you ready for it? Can you? Would you like? Do you have enough time? Is you have you have a curfew, right, to it for a challenge? I don't. Th I don't think I do have a curfew. Wow. Oh. I have all the time in the world, Tony, oh for you. I'm gosh. so happy to be here, that and I will do whatever. Answer. I remember last time. Yes. That we pl I was here, which has been a couple of years now. It has been a while. Um, mm -hmm. You were you were heavier then. <laughs> I, <was. laughs> um, I found the weight you lost. 
Yeah. You're so complimentary, Tony. <laughs> My apologies. So, um, <laughs> I don't know what game we're going to play, but okay. I'm ready for whatever challenge it's you got. It's on the screen or will be. Okay. Uh, um, we're going to read something out loud, and we just have to figure out what it's actually saying. Okay. Pretty shake. Pretty shack scent. That, pretty sa shack that scent. says something else. Pretty, pretty shack, shack scent. scent. Pretty shack scent. British accent. He got it. He got it, didn't he? Can you go to the next one? Is it British accent? It is British accent. All right. Ape, Ape hand, hand hub, hub hair. hair. Ape hand hub hair. Ape hand hub hair. That's not on my list. <laughs> Ape, Ape hand hub hair. A panda bear. Is that a tie? That's a tie. But I think you got, got it. it. You, got you it. really led us down the path. I kind of got you there, didn't I? Yeah, you I got was me there. Inadvertent. So this would be like if you were trying to teach English to say a bunch of Afghanis. Okay. <laughs> yes. Whatever you say. Okay, <laughs> next one. You okay. deal with this. Wander, 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 woman. <laughs> wander, wander woman. Wander woman. Oh my goodness, ah, I think ah, you got it. Ah. Now, in theory, you are the one that set this up, Created right? Them. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Are, I, I are you pretending not to know them? No, uh, why do you, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, <laughs> Gnome no or, or missed, missed her nice, nice thigh. thigh. Thigh? What about her nice thigh? No <laughs> more or missed. No more. No more, no more Mr. Mr. Nice, nice guy. guy. All right, we got it. Okay, everybody, you can go to that website to uh, wow. look into what you can do for Crosswinds Ministries. Crosswinds, Crosswinds Counseling. Counseling. Dot org. It, dot there is a ministry like component to it, yeah. but not technically a ministry. Not technically, but it is. We'll be right back after this, everybody. Bye. Bye, kids. Thanks, Curtis Smith, for being here. The buffet's open. McDermott for the Martin Fine Furniture Store, the oldest furniture business in Indiana, and our prices are out of this world. 50% off everything, every day. A free chair with every sofa purchase. Free deliveries, free setups, and six months free financing. Mr. Martin, did all these Martians buy our furniture? Yeah, and I hope they don't expect free delivery all the way to Mars. You got that right. <laughs> Hey, hey, welcome. Oh, where were you? Was that there? It, up there. Uh, yeah. Oh, there you are. Hey, Whoa. welcome back. Whoa. That was a great guest. Curtis Smith was here this evening uh, before the snow. We look smaller. We are smaller. I like that. Yeah, there's less of us. Yeah, less of me, mm -hmm. less of you. So, uh, Lee, yes. where, where are we and where, where are we going? We are currently in, uh, because you are a monstrously large Cincinnati Bengals he NFL football team. large, I heard. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. We are in Cincinnati. We drove down yes. from Fort Wayne because they're supposed to be hammered with snow in the next couple of days. Right. So we went down to Cincinnati mm -hmm. uh, where there's possibly no snow but a thunderous <laughs> amount of people dressed like tigers yes. walking through the streets. And Striped. Our audience is all kids. Uh, we kind of got the impression that the parents dropped the kids off at this theater. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a youth theater, so we got about two, 250, maybe 300 little striped uh, tigers -olds. running around, jumping over the seats and things, making a lot of noise. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But they're having a good time, so... Uh, that's where we're at, Cincinnati. We've got kids in the audience. Yeah. Um, our sponsor is Manchovy. Manchovy. This uh, company yes. has decided that uh, manchovies, as we know it, yes. are far too small. Yes, they are. So the manchovies, you have to special order them online, mm -hmm. and they come in a tin uh -huh. that's about this big. Yeah. Buy this. <laughs> Those are big. And it's got a, you know, it's got the pullback. Yeah. It doesn't have the key. The key is old fashioned. Right, it right, took the no whole key. crew for us to pull it back. Mm -hmm. And these manchovies are yeah. like the size of a large bass. Yeah. Hey, that's pretty good. These are the largest. Of the these children. are the largest that we were able to find, the and manchovies. the company uh, is sponsoring us. But we have yeah. to eat a tin of it. Yeah. 
And the, the person that actually came to us to um, hawk, hawk this. Hawk, sell. He smelled pretty bad, didn't he? Yeah, yeah I'm guessing rough. the people who pack these tins yeah, they're, probably hate fish. Yeah, it's pretty rough. It's uh, nasty. Fish oil and all that stuff. It's, but fish oil is good for you. It is, but you Not just don't want to be around it. Yeah. <laughs> no. By the gallon. By the gallon. All right, so where are we going to go next time? Well, uh, depending on how the team does, yeah. um, I think we should go west. You know, if we can get out west, past over the Rockies, yeah, into into the California area, yeah, yeah, That'd be towards nice. the Super Bowl when it's over already. Oh, it'll be over by months. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so. somewhere in California, I'm guessing. Okay, so surfs up and all that, or surfs we... up and grab your board and yeah, because by and... by then, you know, it might get a little warmer. By it then. should be warmer. Yeah, we could see some. Uh, who was that? Uh, who was the gal who was on all the beach movies in the 50s? Uh, um, Annette... Uh, Funicello. Funicello. <laughs> and she liked the manchovies. <laughs> she was a big fan of manchovies. <laughs> so, uh, the website, if you ever want to get a hold of us, don't. No, nah, you, you should. But if you come from behind, that's okay. Well, yeah, that's true. Um, if you want to get a hold of us, you can email us, fax us, voicemail us. Twitter. Uh, Samophore code or... You, you can just twit, twit us. Do we have a Twitter account? We have a Twitter account. Uh, no. No. <laughs> we have a Facebook um, account? Uh, we have a Facebook, uh, mastication, facebook.com slash mastication station, and the, which is where all the things, you know, that if you're watching it now, you've been there. You know. I, I've never been there. You, well, you're... <laughs> <laughs> you're the silent partner. <laughs> so you true. can email us. Where should I put it? Put it um, up here. Oh, there, there it is. It'd be there. cool if you had it way up high and you lowered it. Okay. So or you do the reverse. The Star Wars where it goes, it goes up. Up. And so into space. Right up here. Right up here. I'll go this way. Mastication Station at Yahoo.com. Mastication Station at Yahoo.com. And I might even put it here. There it is. In the, in the round. Mastication Station at Yahoo.com. For any quips, humorous vignettes, questions, concerns, comments, ideas, recipe swaps, or... Negative puns. Negative puns. <laughs> aggressive puns. <perhaps>. Aggressive puns. <laughs> so uh, next time we'll be somewhere in Cali. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we'll go there. We'll bring some bacons and some beans, and we'll have a good old time on the California mm -hmm. Oregon Trail. Ooh. Yeah. I, I, I always died in that game. Donner party of four. Aggressive <laughs> <laughs> oh, from the Donner. Yes. Uh, we'll be back next time. See you then, or you'll see us. Uh, follow us, like us, uh, fax us. Bye. Tweet us. <laughs>
like you could lose small children in it. It, it, it was <laughs> a little